dog in here. Okay. Our house is still a mess. Oh, snow. It's so fun that we can have snow in California, though. That's not even cold. It's just, like, beautiful. Beautiful snow. So I cannot clean the house. Um, Shay's gonna head and get a vacuum today. Like, one of those big shop vacs, because we don't have one of those. And looks like we're gonna need one. If we're gonna continue to do YouTube videos, we're gonna need a shop vac. So I'm headed to Maker. I'm gonna do my show. Finally, it's been about three months since the baby's been born, and I haven't done a show on my channel yet. So I'm headed there. I'm excited because Brit Knoll is gonna be on on my second show. So not the next show that comes up, but this next show after that, she will be on with me with our babies. It's gonna be a fun show. So here I go, going off to work while Shay gets to play clean up. Mm, sorry, honey. Where's my sleeping angel? I hate to wake him up to put him in the car seat, but it has to be done. I cannot leave you, my little love. I cannot leave you. Look at those cheeks. Oh, they're so precious, so precious. Running errands with dad, running errands with dad. Yes, so, yes, so, yes, so, yes, I love running errands with dad. Yeah. Do you love running errands with dad? Huh? All right, we're going to get a juice and then a shop vac because we need um, one in the worst kind um, of way. You can buy me some onions. You can buy me some turkey, okay? Yes, sir. And I'll do, yes, okay. Let's go to it right now. Banana, banana, is that your jerky dance? He's doing his jerky dance. Hey, you guys know what's cool? Colette's sister's husband is the CEO of this company from Idaho Falls, Idaho. Golden Valley Jerky. You guys know that Casey was sponsored by that? They sell it right here in California. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Uncle Bryce makes that jerky. All right, it's lunchtime. Daddy's eating a salad and a juice. What are you eating? A bag of dead deer. How is it? He loves this jerky. Every time we come to this place, is this our reindeer? Yeah. You're eating Ezekiel reindeer. Yeah. He always wants to get a jerky when we come here. He loves it. You gonna give Zeke any? No. And then Zeke stares at him. Like, can I have some? Can I have some? All right, we gotta go get a shop back, okay? Yeah. Let's go to Home Depot. We gotta clean up all that snow from yesterday. Are you gonna give him some? Yeah. You can give him some if you want. I had a really good workout with Ron today, and. I forgot, it's so dumb. I just think it's society, or it's the tilt towards the telestial. I don't know why I go back to eating crappy food. Because I eat this like nutrient rich, delicious, healthy food, and it tastes good, and I feel good. I have so much energy, it really does taste good. You just gotta like, you know, find the right stuff. And it's delicious, and your body feels good, but and it's like I always get sidetracked. I go back to like eating stupid, crappy food. I gotta remember to stop just eat whole fresh fruits and vegetables. I love it, I love it. And after you have a really good hard workout, me and Ron lifted weights this morning, feel great. Mmm. You love Jessie, you're, you're so pretty. You're so sweet. She's so pretty. I'm gonna take him. <laughs> I'm gonna take him, guys. <laughs> and I've got Britt here today, Isn't and Kai. It's to think that we were just here with babies in our bellies. Yes. I just had that moment where I just realized they were in our bellies like, last time It's I was so here. funny because it, <laughs> uh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, it wasn't you. It feels like so much has happened since then, I right? Oh, and it was just like three, well, three months for you and two months for me. Yeah, That's like crazy. our life has our lives have changed a lot I'm since tired. then. <laughs> I want dogs. I know, right? <laughs> Britt was just on my show with me. I finally got a shoot done for my channel. So Yay. she's gonna be on an episode and then I did an up episode update where I talked about like my experience and how I felt with all the labor and delivery and stuff. So Ooh, stay tuned on my that. channel. Well, it turned her. out really long. I was like, I, I don't realize how much I had to say about this. <laughs> I'm like, sorry, I'm really long-winded on this. So check that out, it'll be out soon. Well, we thought we were headed to Home Depot to go buy a shop vac, but my truck battery died. Now we're just stuck in this big old city of Los Angeles without help or hope. What are we gonna do? I'm like in the desert with my baby. I'll provide for you. I'll protect you, son. Don't worry. Actually, uh, my little brother Casey lives just like a mile and a half up the road. So we're gonna walk up there, get some tools, go buy a battery, carry it back down to my truck, and install it. Think we can do that? You know why we can do that? Because we're men, and men get things done. Like install batteries and buy shop vacs. Let's do this, buddy. You ready? Only in LA. I think that's a sign of a sword. They must sell swords here. You need a good saber? You know, a real good He-Man sword? Come to this shop. Uh, so you guys remember a couple weeks ago, 
when I had left my lights on at the airport and I had to call and get somebody to come jump my battery. Well, I've been lucky that my battery has worked. After that guy jumped it, I drove it home and it recharged my battery. I'm surprised that it's lasted this long, but now it has started its last truck. So we have to go buy a new one. Get in the zone, auto zone. Luckily, there's an auto zone only a half a mile from where my truck died. That's one good thing about LA. There's you know, shops and stores everywhere. Let's go in here and see if they have a battery. There's one, let's just grab that one. All right, show them what you got, Rock Turd. What'd you get? You show them? Uh, no, two wheel drive, sorry. Show them? You got a truck, and now we're picking out batteries. We gotta choose what kind of battery we want here. Oh, that ought to do the job. Look who's here. Uncle Casey. It sure is good having your brother live a mile. You guys should go watch Casey's vlog. It probably looks a lot cooler from his angle. I got a kid, a battery, and a camera. Hi, Shayshards! You guys go watch Casey's vlog. You'll see what I look like with a kid, a battery, and a camera. You guys came to save the day. They gave him a free car. You got a car? No way. Kid, drug. He's so excited. All right, scoot over, buddy boy. Okay, dude, pick it up. Let's go. No, dude, come on, pick it up. We gotta go put it in the truck. Hurry! Pick it up! <laughs> All right, here we go. Come on, you gotta come out, Mr. Battery. You're no good. You, you know, got a whole socket set? You know, it's one of those Christmas presents you get, and you're like, eh, Oh, great. What am I gonna do with socket that? Socket set. Thanks, yeah. th thanks father-in-law. <laughs> and then you like, you know, you, a couple weeks later, you're like, the battery's broke. Yep. <laughs> oh, I got a socket set. Great gift. And it works perfectly. Yeah. Because without that, I knew I'd have like a crescent wrench trying to get in there. Poor Zeke's been sitting here the whole time. Huh? You've been protecting the truck. Are you driving? Rock turns driving. Zeke's holding the foot down. Casey's changing the battery. I'm making the jokes it's behind the camera. The yeah, I like that. What's new? <laughs> All right, new battery's in. You know what's crazy? I feel like we have probably, on the Shaytards vlogs during the course of the last five years, changed maybe four or five batteries together, haven't we? You guys remember? You guys need to get Duralast on the phone. Yeah, we need a brand deal. We need a Duralast brand deal. Duralast, send us some free batteries. Yes, it's too late now. I'm just bought this one. <laughs> Let me okay. just get this done. Keep your hand on the battery. Just keep your hand on that. I'm going to start it real quick. <laughs> So you, you, uh, Kaylee, keep this. I'm gonna go start the truck right now. <laughs> got you good, Case. Your hair got caught off by a fan. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, that's hey, a man hey. truck right there. <laughs> Putting man batteries in man. Yeah, we got a little man truck. Use my man tools. You it's guys are so manly. Okay. <laughs> okay, dance. Oh, look at those dance moves, dude. Is that a young Michael Jackson dancing right there in the aisles of Home Depot? I think it is. There he is, the king of pop right now, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we're back on track. That was about an hour detour to get a new battery, but we are back in business. Now we gotta find a shop back so we can suck up about 10 pounds of fake snow on our stairs. You guys see one of these? This is what I earned. Whoops, oh, oh, dang it, dropped a blade. This is what I earned my living on. I had one of these in my hand probably eight hours a day. Dude, that's funny, I miss it. Makita saw, I would grind and cut and polish granite with one of these babies. This is a big time tool. I really miss coming to like Home Depot and Lowe's and stuff. Some of you who have been following me for a long time, you know that I used to own my own granite countertop business. And I used to always come and like buy tools and it was always exciting. I can't hide, I can't hide! Don't hide, come on, we gotta find a shop back. Right there, baby. These things are the best tool ever for cleaning up giant messes. Once again, I hate to start off every story with when I did granite, but when I did granite, we used these babies all the time because we would cut the sinks out at the job site. We'd have to cut the sinks out and dust would be flying everywhere. So we'd get one of these rigid shop vacs and we'd hold the, the hose right there on the end of the blade on the grinder and as we were cutting the sinks out, it'd just shoot granite dust everywhere. We'd just suck it up with this stuff. So we're gonna get this and we're gonna suck up all that snow. Okay, Rock Tart, can you come help me carry this? Oh, that's a big, that's a big vacuum. Can you get it? Get it, come on, you're a stuff. No, you can do it, I believe in you. Oh, look at you, you're doing it. Doing it, you're so strong. All right, let's load this bad boy up. Yeah, it's gonna be so satisfying to suck up that snow. All right, you ready, let's go. You guys have no idea how excited I am to use this baby. <laughs> it's so satisfying. I'll show you what I mean. 
Okay, see all that snow? Oh, look at that. Dude, it gets every, it just, it's so powerful. It sucks it up so good. Let me show you, look at this corner. Yeah, look, look right here, see all that? One pass that thing, clean! I love this thing. Dude, look, all that snow, just like that. <laughs> it's almost like I'm doing a brand deal for these vacuums now. I'm not. Don't buy these. I don't care. These vacuums suck. I, they're stupid. It's so fun. You know what I mean? Where it's like you're cleaning up a mess and it just like you have the right tool. It's like and it sucks it all up. You're like, oh, that's awesome. Like you see the difference. It's satisfying. You can't use the vacuum. You don't have opposable thumbs, silly. Do you want to use the vacuum? Oh. All right, Suntar just saw me using it and he goes, whoa, can I try it? Doesn't it look fun? Isn't that satisfying? Yeah. Why is it satisfying? Just look, like, look, watch. <laughs> yeah, I see that. <laughs> Clean. <laughs> so he wasn't here when I was showing you guys. He's like, wait, okay, see that? Now watch, it's the before and after effect. It's so satisfying. Yeah, dude, clean those stairs. Dude, we needed this anyways, because these stairs were getting so dirty. Hey, guess what, bud? You just inherited a chore. Do the rest of them, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, dad. Because it is bad. There is snow all over the place. At least somebody in this family knows how to get comfortable. <laughs> Ezekiel, are you still with us? Honey, Ezekiel's bit the... Oh, no, he's alive. Okay. Uh, all right, Sundard, what do you got? What do you got there? Oh, there's something on the lens. I'm seeing a weird lens flare. Did you get a letter? Who'd you get a letter from? Grandma from Grandma Ma? Weirdos, get out of here. Some weirdos in here. Princess Tart has one of her friends from school over. All right. Get out of here, you weirdos! Okay, open it. Let's see what you got. What did you say to me right before you got this letter? Grandparents are awesome. He said, he was just sitting there looking at it. He goes, man, I love grandmas and grandpas. <laughs> What is it? Read it out loud. What does it read say? The front, read the front. You gotta read all the parts of the card. You can't just look inside of it for money. I've seen that look before. It's like, open it right away. See if a $5 bill falls out. Wee! Penguin? Oh, okay. Wee. What does it say? Oh, a 10 spot? Man, Grandma Tart's feeling generous. On my, on my eighth birthday, Grandma gave me $35. Oh, I guess she loves you a lot more then. <laughs> Go buy yourself a treat. You soar with others, merrily waddle. Congratulations. So proud of you, Gavin. What a great thing. No sugar for one year. You are so strong. I am lucky you are my grandson. Love you, Grandma. Oh, that's sweet of her. That's really sweet. You should call her and tell her thank you. Or wait, she'll probably watch this video. Tell her. Thanks, Grandma. Tell her you love her. I love you so much. Yeah, that's so nice Thanks of her. Thanks for the money. Yeah. Okay. Give me my parental payment. 20%. Sorry, bro. That's just we part of living here. could even go a month. Oh, I see how it is. Yeah. I see how it is. Mom, tell him, Mom. I went for a whole year when I was a kid. Mom, tell him, Mom, please. You actually have a really good voice. <laughs> High five. Are you embarrassed? Kind of. Kind of. Hey, you know what? That's when your best singing comes out. Hold on, turn that off for a second. You know that's when your best singing comes out? When nobody's watching, nobody you think nobody's listening, and you just let it go? It's true, you guys. If you want to become good singers, you just have to let it go. You have to dance like nobody's watching and sing like nobody's listening, right? Yeah. I think you're awesome. Thanks. So I just uploaded the vlog and a majority of the comments already are, Shay, that looks like a lot of fun. How fun was it to clean up that mess? <laughs> um, so I have uh, two buddies here 
This guy, his name's Abraham, and then his other buddy here, his name's Lincoln. These two dudes have been offered to Suntard in exchange for a vacuum job. And not exaggerating, he's been working on it for about two hours now, and it's starting to look really good. Don't mind the disgusting stains because we have five children and a giant dog, but it looks like the snow is mostly cleaned up. I think you've gotten almost every single snowflake, my friend. So you're probably not going to want to be singing that Let It Snow song anymore. <laughs> what do you think, dude? Has this been a crappy job? No. Has it been worth 10 bucks? Yeah. How long do you think you've been vacuuming for? Wow. I'd say you've been going for about two hours now. Look, there's still like some really fine like dust. You have to just try to keep sucking it up, okay, dude? But it looks good. I think you got it for the most part. The stairs look clean. How's that old shop back treating you? Hey, Swifty. Well, good job, dude. Ten bucks well earned. Hi, guys. Um, I want to show you a trick. So, where am I going to set you? Dad! What? <laughs> Dad! What? You keep doing... Dude, if you have a camera out, I have to have the attention. That's just the <laughs> Okay. Now I'm going to show you the trick. Next. What? Let's see. Do you want me to hold it for you? <laughs> yes. Let me hold it for you? Yes, my dad's. Tell him, what? Turn on yourself. My dad's going to hold it. Can you tell him why Zeke is always barking like that? Um. Why is he's he always... mad. Why is he mad? Uh, Cause you won't play with him. I play with him. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna wrestle him. Right now. All right, let's see your trick. What are you gonna do, Luffy Poo? I say, what are you gonna do, Lou Luffy Poo? I wanna wrestle you to the death. Watching. Everybody's yelling for. <laughs> Everybody wants my attention. What? Okay, let's see it. Go. What is it, Luffy Poofus? That's it. You're showing us your trick. Okay. Let's at Scouts. Why are you telling mom? What are you telling her? Let me see. Let me see, babe. Wait, where's the speaker phone? Huh? What is going on? Uh, nothing, babe. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, we'll see you later. I'm beating Zeke up. Okay. I don't know why she called you. Oh. She thinks I'm a bad father. No, I was calling you it's because uh, uh, it was loud and I wanted to stop it. <laughs> okay, you think I can make a stop from here? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you calling me. <laughs> you tattletale. All right, I gotta go beat these children. I love you, bye. No. Okay, bye. That is it. Last no. time you tattled on me. <laughs> Did you call your mom and tattle on me? Huh? Huh? I'm gonna throw you on the dog! Alright, I'm emptying all the trash in the house. So while Colette is at Scouts with Suntard, my job is to get this house all put back together. I gotta put the table back in the kitchen, I gotta put the couch back in the living room, and get the whole kitchen clean so that when Mommy Tard comes home, she is pleasantly surprised. And then she loves me because she's like, Oh, what a relief! It's all clean! And then we can just cuddle in bed. You get mopping! Quit mopping my fat belly! Let you go back in your belly! 
<laughs> Fat no belly. Get your Swiffer off me. I'm gonna hit you in the head with my trash bag. <laughs> okay, almost finished with the kitchen. Gonna scrub the last of the pans, got the dishwasher loaded, got pretty much all the snow vacuumed up. Check it out. All right, the house is back together again. It's like Mary Poppins flew through here with her magical cleaning song and put it back together. Oh man, Colette's gonna be so excited when she walks through those doors. Doesn't look good. There's nothing like a clean house, huh, Ezekiel? Huh, Zeke puppy? Now we gotta shampoo those stairs next. Okay, you guys, let's actually see if she'll say anything when she comes home. So I'm gonna have a hidden camera here on the chair under the table, and we'll see if she says anything when she walks in. Okay, she's gonna be home from Scouts any minute. I clean. And dude, you know what? This vacuum is the best broom there is. We're not using a broom anymore. Yeah, you know how it's like food is always like getting in these corners and it's yeah. such a pain. So you have like five kids. You just freaking run this thing across the floor. Clean. Guys, he's the best husband ever. Oh, I'm sorry, stop. ladies, that you don't have as good of husbands as I do. That's and true. men, you have a lot to aspire <laughs> to. So sorry. That's how you keep marriage fresh. You do the hard things. You do, it's love is a verb. It's not just a thing that happens. You gotta do stuff. You clean my countertops so I can lay on them. All right. Get to bed. It's 9.44 at night. You guys got school tomorrow. No more watching Despicable Me. Yeah, what are we doing? Well, watch Despicable Me. It's time to go to bed, dude. It's a school night. Baby Tard's yawning over there. Okay. Suntar can barely keep his eyes open. All right. See you tomorrow. Later. Bye. Click on a video. Click on a video. Click, 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 click on a video. Thumbs up, thumbs up, favorite. Thumbs up, thumbs up, subscribe. Thumbs up, thumbs up, comment. Click on a video. Hey, this is Shay Tarts. We love you. Check out yesterday's vlog. If you're fan lucky, click on the lucky button. We've been making videos every day for five years. If you want to see what we were doing on those, because I get a few years, click on those buttons below. One, two, three, and four. Yeah, I love you. Bye. See you tomorrow.